Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial we're going to show you a really quick way that we can group all our information that is currently presented um, by date uh, into a, a summary that shows you at month or even year level. Uh, so to be more particular with that, so as you can see our data is in column A to C and for each day uh, or date uh, within the number of months we have present we can see the number of sales for that day and the total value of those sales for that day. So this is great when we want to look at obviously a day by day uh, summary but what we want to do is be able to see what the total number of sales and the value was for January, February, March and so on with all the number of months that we've got. Also, if you did have multiple years, we'd also have to see what the total was per each of those years as well. So this is really simple to do and we're going to do achieve it by using pivot tables. So I'm going to just select uh, the cell in which I want to insert the pivot table. Uh, you could put this into a different sheet or whatever um, obviously caters to your requirement. But for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, I'll pre-select it on this actual sheet we're using here so everything is kept together. So what we need to do is, like I say, having selected where we want to go, we now need to go to our ribbon, insert, and select pivot table. And the first thing we're asked to do is provide uh, the table or range. So all we need to do there is go to our data and obviously select the range of our information. So what I'm just doing is manually going to find our last cell. So selecting the last uh, cell within our range we want to do, and also then go back to the top here so we can get the starting point, which is going to be A1. So obviously when selecting those two values, I held shift in between to make sure obviously it selects the range rather than changing the cell reference. And you can see now in our table range has been populated. So pivot group, which is the, uh, the name of this sheet. And we're going from the range of A1 through to C230 or 230. So that's that. The next part we're just going to touch on is existing worksheet here. So choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. As you know, we selected F1 as our desired place for this pivot table to be inserted. Alternatively, you could change uh, from here, you could change where you want it to go, or you could select the new worksheet if you wanted it to go into a new worksheet uh, rather than keeping the same. But as mentioned, we'll just keep it in the same sheet for the purpose of this tutorial. Once both of those, or once you're happy with both of those, just select OK, and you can see a pivot table has been inserted. So, for us, you can see it's been defaultly named pivot table six. So by default, it would always be pivot table number one and then go up in increments based on how many pivot tables you have. So for us, obviously, this is not the first pivot table we've put into the sheet or workbook. Uh, so hence why I've got the number six and you're more than likely will have pivot table number one if you're following along. So once we've done this, uh, we've got our pivot table. All we need to do now is put in the field. So first thing we need to do is put in the date into our rows. And you can see the latest versions of Excel has already grouped those up for us. So this is obviously makes it a lot easier and you can see we've had this additional field created for us, what's not obviously available in our table called months, which means that all our data has nicely been grouped by the month. And obviously, as you can see, there were expanded February. You can see we've got the day and the month for each of those within there. This now makes it a lot easier. So all we now need to do is put in the number of sales to our values. And lastly, put in total value to our values. And let's just do a slight bit of formatting. So let's just change these formats to go to doo -doo -doo -doo, number format. And let's just put these as a number that you can see there and use the, the thousand separator where applicable. OK. And we'll also just do that onto our total our sum of total value as well. So value field settings again. Number format. Go to number use that thousand separator and we'll get rid of the decimal places. Perfect. And then do OK again. So that just tidies up nicely. So we've now got our, our summary that we required. So it gives us the month in column F and you can see the total number of sales were achieved for January with 217 and the total or the total value of those sales is 1736. Doing it in this summary gives us the really quick information to see what our total uh, sales overall is. So for all those eight months, January to August, we can see it's a total of 14,920. And ultimately, we can then go through this and skim really quickly and see that June was the highest month at 2,300. And the lowest month was uh, 1,088 in August. So you can see we're getting some really good information from a really quick summary. If we do want to play around with the grouping, what's been done here, all we need to do is right click on that column uh, for row labels and column F and go into group. 
And you can see at the moment, by default, uh, because the pivot table done this for us, it's grouped everything by days and months. If we want to also bring years into this as well, all we need to do is select years, do OK, and let it think about it for a bit. And you can see that years has now been created into our, our fields available. So we've got years and months there. What means that if we just now reduce down January and February, and we can just really quickly by right clicking on there on the month, span it collapse, and we'll just do collapse entire field. So it goes back to the month. And you can see we've now got the year and the year total, what was obviously the overall we just now looked at for the 14,920. And then we can look at individual months. And if we require, by just expanding that month, we can look at the individual day as well. So we hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you're new to pivot tables, we'll put a link on the screen now to an introductory video we did on using pivot tables. So that'll give you a good head start. If you did enjoy the video, please do give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, and hit that bell notification button so you are notified of all our new videos as they come out. In the description to this video you'll find links to our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Again, very useful for being notified when new videos come out and also additional content on there and a great platform for asking any questions. Alternatively, if you do have any questions, feel free to just drop us a comment below this video and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you very much and we shall see you in the next video.